Welcome to Clowns of the Square Table. I'm your host, Chocolates the Clown. We got Gorilla Crod back. Hello, everybody. And we have Y2 Ray here. And we are talking about all things Godzilla versus Kong. We could go hours and talk about Toho Studios alone. And never mind Godzilla or Kong or any of the new movies. We could probably go for days on this subject. We could probably start our own show called The to Clowns of Toho. What do you think? Uh, sound like a good idea? Yes. Sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to this movie, and one of the reasons I put this out is to be before the movie, so hopefully you're going to actually get two Clowns of the Square Table in April, I mean March, along with two uh, Chuckles Figure Federations in March as well, so you're getting double uh, your entertainment value for this month. Um, as as we speak, this is already being edited. Now, I am a huge, huge fan of Godzilla. I grew up as a little clown watching Godzilla. I didn't grow up watching Kong until I was a teenager. I knew of Kong, but I had never seen the King Kong movies until I was about 12 or 13 years old. I did, however, grow up watching King Kong because my mother figure loved, I mean, Godzilla, loved Godzilla. My uncles loved Godzilla, so we grew up watching that stuff. Saturday Monster Marathons, remember those? Mm -hmm. Yes, and you, but you don't remember Creature Double Feature. That was part of it. Creature Double Feature was up there as well on that is uh, for Creature Double Feature. Now, is this movie gonna measure up to the original Godzilla versus King Kong. We'll see. I'm sure the effects will be much better. But there's just something cool about the guys in the rubber suits though. And the first one was definitely very much a classic. It was actually the first time that either monster appeared in color, which was a very big thing as well. Of course they had to beef up uh, Kong to be Godzilla sized, he would have been very tiny compared to Godzilla if it were the original Kong. Now, Toho had done their version of Kong before. Uh, it was called Frankenstein, right? Well, originally it was supposed to be Frankenstein versus Godzilla for the movie, uh, which got changed to Kong, but they later made Frankenstein movies uh, under the Toho banner as well with gigantic Frankensteins. Um, however, for whatever reason, I don't remember, I'm not 100% they did replace him with Kong, although Kong ret retained some of the powers of Frankenstein, like for instance, getting energy from the lightning, or from electricity. Which made no sense, because it, it, in the original one there, he would have definitely been fried. Yes. Uh, it, it's a gorilla, chewing on electrical cables is not good for anybody. But Godzilla. I think they already had a script and they kind of didn't want to change that much, so they just left that part in, probably. That is one of the biggest screw job movies next to Frankenstein versus the Werewolf because they leave it on a flippant cliffhanger when they both fall into the water. And no, there is not a different ending in Japan. It's not no. yet. No, there's definitely not a different ending. There's not two of those movies. That's one of those urban legends or urban myths out there there's just one uh now being a godzilla fan i know for a fact that godzilla would have won that match falling into the water gorillas can't swim hey wait a minute well you can't uh, if we take swimming lessons we can how many gorillas have taken swimming lessons i did well you're a smart gorilla but if a gorilla falls in the water it's going to drown. Uh, Kong is pretty smart. Not as smart as me, but still. Well, not that smart. You ever see him, like, even the movie Kong, uh, Skull Island, 
when they show him, he's he's only in water up to his knees when he's wrestling the octopus, which was supposed to be in the King Kong versus Godzilla, but was taken out of it. Uh, I believe the octopus scene is in here. Oh, right is it? I think you're thinking of the giant spiders in the original oh, yeah, King yeah, yeah, Kong. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were supposed to be in there. Um, oh. But he's never in deep water. That's yeah. the thing I'm putting on there. He's only in water that he could cross, like in the Congo, if there was a river that they could go across, they would go across it. Also, something about the giant octopus in the original Kong vs. Godzilla. They used an actual real octopus, and uh, they cooked and ate it afterwards. Although they might not have cooked it. Uh, it could have been sushi. I would have cooked and ate it, too. But, um... So at least one, um, he would technically be a kaiju, he fought them, a giant octopus, I hear was voices. actually just a real octopus. Yeah, you do hear voices, those are the little kids next door that I scare all the time. I think he hears voices in his head too, his own voices. Who's your favorite? Kong or Zilla? Sorry, Godzilla, I won't call yes. it Zilla again because I don't want to offend uh, this guy Mike Dickerson, who's, yes. he gets very, Godzilla. yes, because um, Godzilla. Yes. You obviously are a fan of King Kong. Yes, yes, although I do like Godzilla as well. And yes, Zilla is the fake American one, which the real Godzilla destroyed in, oh, five seconds or so in Final Wars, by the way. It makes you wonder, though, if they could have done that Zilla versus Peter Jackson's Kong. Eh, eh, Kong would definitely win that one, though. You Absolutely, think so? definitely, yes. I don't know. Uh, it, maybe. Uh, I, I would say maybe on that one. The new one coming out, let's brush on that a little bit. They have only shown bits and pieces of it on the trailer. By now, uh, it's getting close to the day of watching it. It releases the 31st of March. If you guys don't know, that's when they, and it'll be on HBO Max and in the theaters, select theaters only. Uh, I'm going to watch it from the comfort of the insane asylum because I can kick up my foot my sh slippers on. Daddy. Welcome back to Clowns of the Square Table, and we had the ghost here screaming daddy, which was a little creepy in the background, don't you think? Yes. Rod? Uh, we had to go to a uh, commercial break for that to, to scare away the ghost. What are your feelings on the new King Kong vs. Godzilla? I am very much looking forward to it. Uh, definitely the new Godzilla movies kind of redeemed America from, you know, after our big failure in the late 90s of a fake Godzilla movie. Um, I think it's going to be a really good fight. Uh, you know, I'll pull for Kong, you know, fellow gorilla. Uh, also my third cousin, by the way. Um, Third cousin, third cousin, twice removed. Um, but I don't know if it's still a win. God, I'm sorry. It's this guy. He's like, is rubbing off on me here. Are you looking forward to the new King Kong Godzilla? Sure. Have you seen any of the new Godzillas and Kongs? No, I don't watch TV really. Oh boy, why did we get this guy on here? I don't know. Just you, you almost think you were related. You almost think you guys are related. Uh, you would almost think. Yep. There's a possibility. You never know. But I also think that Kong is going to lose. I mean, the atomic breath from Godzilla is going to fry him. Yes. I mean, how do you stick up for that? He's just, a, like I said, he's a giant gorilla. He doesn't have any armor or scales on him that might protect him, like King Ghidorah or Ankosaurus uh, or Anklin, yeah, Angerus. Angerus or even Rodan who's able to come out of volcanoes and court to the new King of Monsters. Yeah, that King Kong got beat up by Gumby. Uh, I think you were wrong. I think you were on uh, some medication plants when you were watching that. Oh. Well, yeah, it definitely wasn't going to happen. But if he could take down... If Godzilla could take down King Ghidorah, which I think King Ghidorah would rip King Kong oh, yeah. the shreds. I gotta agree with that, I do. I don't think this is going to be an even fight. I really don't. I'm sure they'll book it in a way so that Kong will look even, but 
in reality, yeah, not that this would be real. real. <laughs> yeah, I think Kong would be in trouble if it were real. No, I mean, that, it's definitely, uh, they make Godzilla, like, hugely overpowered in the newer movies. Uh, and I agree with that. It's a giant lizard that breathes atomic breath. Now, if that giant lizard can survive being down there with the atomic bomb, what that blasts off, and it survives that, what the hell is a gorilla going to do to him? Build an oxygen destroyer, like in the first movie? He's probably not smart enough for that, though. No, I, I don't think so. Like in the first Godzilla movie, I should say, not the first Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know who you think is going to win the battle. Bozo. No, not Bozo. You've gone for Godzilla, I've gone for Godzilla, you've gone for Kong. If you win and Kong wins the the, the battle, I will buy you a banana pizza. All right. If you win and Godzilla wins, I will buy you a sardine pizza. Godzilla will always win. Alright, thank you very much for watching Con uh, and Chuckles uh, uh, Clowns of the Square Table and we will be back next time we're in the studio to talk all things Marvel Television, which is on Netflix right now. We'll talk about Wanda, uh, some up and coming uh, they have the Winter Soldier and the Falcon coming up and they have other uh, television shows that are going to be appearing on the DC I mean Disney Plus app thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe hit the like button and the bell for when new videos come up and we'll be sure to uh, leave comments as well bad ones even if you want to make fun of Y2Ray right here we like those too if you want to make fun of Gorilla Crod, we like that too. Even make fun of the fat clown. Just comment and share share this video. Salute.